have been looking for co-founders. Is it easy? No, you have realized it's too difficult. Yes, it is. Because before you get someone who has the, the, the qualities I shared, it is not a joke, but they are there. You just need to be further, take your time. But today, we'd like to go to the second part of this conversation. What precautions should you follow to ensure that your partnership stays for long? You want this business to be there for some time. There are rules. If you don't set those rules, anything goes. And I'm going to share how you can go about it. You can call it a constitution, a guideline. How are you going to be operating? You may be the best founders, but if you don't set the rules, sooner or later you'll fight, the company will go down. Because everyone has their own idea on how to move forward. Very fast, I'd like to cover the areas that are important in terms of the rules that you need to set in your partnership. Some of uh, the first thing is the basics of the partnership. You need to know the purpose of the organization. How long will this partnership last? For me, I know when you look for co-founders, it's for life, it's forever. This business should be for long. Don't know a co-founder who is here for two years. It will not serve your purpose. So you have to state clearly and that's what we did from the beginning in username, that we are here to stay. We are here for a long time. And also it is said the basis for resignation for those members of the team that were working. So that is one part. The other thing is uh, about responsibilities. Who is supposed to do what? I want to believe you are bringing complementary co-founders to the team who is going to be in charge of marketing, in charge of sales, in charge of products, who is going to be in charge of money finance, who is going to be in charge of customer experience or customer service, who is going to be in charge of all the other things. You have to divide that role. And when you have complementary co-founders, it works perfect. The other thing is about remuneration. You have to decide how much pay are you going to have. I remember my first pay was the initial one was 5,000, it was an allowance, but I was employed. Then the company in full, I was being paid 25,000. We set those agreements. And before I go further, all these rules, part of the uh, guidelines, are set in something called shareholders agreement. You can call it partnership agreements, a document, a constitution. The other thing that is important is to know if somebody was to change because interests do change over time when you are running the business. Somebody came, they were so enthusiastic, they wanted to do everything possible to make this company a reality. But all of a sudden, they have won a green card. Or something else happened and decided to withdraw. What is the process? You have to say that from the beginning. Don't assume you are friends and this thing will work. Don't assume everyone will remain enthusiastic for so long. So it is very important for you to ensure you know how someone is going to withdraw from the company. The next thing I would like to share, especially in this episode, even as you follow, how are you going to solve disputes? In the course of running username, we have had disputes, uh, just like a relationship, just like a marriage. There are disputes in business relationships. So many of them, you make this hard decision every day. Someone want to take a shortcut you don't want to. Someone want to be, someone who uh, exhibits some characters where they want to make so much money, and you know it is not possible. We develop a culture called honest conservation. It's about telling each other the truth. That's how we say it. If something is not working, let us say it is not working, so the business continues. We also have a mechanism of solving dispute. You have a problem, tell me directly. We have those, me if it becomes too much, that's when we can seek legal redress. But of course, we don't expect to get there. You have never been there because the basics, the selection of co-founders was right. But you have to say, how are we going to solve the dispute? Maybe you meet, you go to arbitration, you go to court. What is the step by step? Or we meet friends. Or you have mentors who you can be able to help. The other thing is about um, 
dissolving, like we said, 80% of the business die in the first year, even 90% sometimes. Only 10 or 20% survive. At some point, you might find that your business is not working. And how do you dissolve? People fight because the company may be worth 50 million or 20 million or 10 million and they have money. How do you dissolve? You must have a process by process. And something I would like to say, your paperwork should be very good. One of the things we did, we did a partnership agreement, what we call a shareholders agreement. And we agreed, you have this, you have this uh, in terms of share. This is how we solve disputes. This is how we share. This is your shareholding. And this is how we dissolve step by step. And all of us, at that moment, when you are founding the company, everyone is happy. At that moment, everyone is cooperative. And then you think soberly, then you sign at the dotted line to ensure that when you start this business, you have every guideline. Nothing goes. Not everything goes, I mean. People follow rules, and that's how to ensure the success of your business from day one. I believe some of those things will be important to your business as you with your co-founders, but for more, I believe you can be able to get a lawyer who can assist you much better. Go to any lawyer, they'd be able to guide you through the process and tell you, you have to do one, two, three, don't do this, and I believe you'll be assisted. I believe this is very important. Please ex implement what we are saying, uh, some of the ideas we are sharing. And in this series where we are sh uh, covering about how to create a successful business, we'll be having more episodes on this. Please share with your friends, with your colleagues, with your Facebook uh, uh, family out there, and ensure they also benefit. Leave your message. If you have not subscribed, please do it. We'll be able to respond back to you if you have any questions, maybe in the next episode, and we'll be able to answer your question. My name is Ruben Kimani, CEO and co-founder of Username Investment Limited.